All right, good morning, YouTubers. This is Frank at uh, Sensible Survival. This is my, not a follow-up to my EDC. It's not an update, but yeah, this is, I just want to show all this as it, this will tie into the discussion for today, which is just some topics about a uh, get home bags. You know, you're out somewhere and whatever happens, you just need to get back home for whatever, whatever's going on. Like I said, uh, this is, I like to uh, talk about this in a sensible way. Um, and again, any of my comments are solely based on my location and environment uh, and not to disparage anybody else's get home bags and what they may carry. Uh, but this just to sh talk about my experiences and what I personally would have um, for a get home type bag situation, which I have right here. And we'll talk about that in a minute. This is going to be a multi-part because I like to keep these videos down to just a few minutes. Under five minutes is my preference. Uh, so let me get started. So before we talk about get home bags, um, there's a few things. One, I carry all this on me all the time, so there's no need for to talk about, oh, I got to actually have money in my get home bag. I got to have a flashlight or any of that because I carry all this. So I have four flashlights, I know a little much. The ability to start fire, knife, you know, a cell phone, which I have an iPhone that I am videoing with. So I have all this stuff. And I always keep money in my wallet and my phone stays charged all the time. Though in my car, I have extra chargers. And in my car bag, I have a plethora from um, solar panels to 10,000 milliamp batteries, you name it, I got it. We'll talk about that in future videos. But for this one, I just want to talk about a few things. One is, yes, you need to have some kind of get home bag. It needs to have what you need in it for your situation. Um, but one, I think folks need to make sure that, one, they have training. You can have all the cool gear in the world and med bags and all this stuff, but you definitely need to be knowledgeable and trained in how to use it. Much like I would say with any weapon or pepper spray or whatever it is, you need to be proficient at using it. So that's my number one thing to tell you is make sure you um, are experienced in whatever it is you have on you. Uh, number two, when it comes to get home bags, just one thing that I haven't seen a whole lot of discussion in uh, is not just the gear, um, but you, the actual person. Um, you need to physically be able to get home. Now, granted, in most situations, it's going to be you call somebody, they come get you, or you get to cell phone service and call somebody. So obviously have a good phone and money. But my point is, is if you do need to trek the 5, 10, 15 miles home, can you physically do it? So I'm sure it's many people think about it and that's something that they do. Um, but that's just one thing I don't hear much about. I just wanted to bring up, do it. Uh, walk home from wherever you're at and or go out and do training of some sort, whether you're a runner, I'm a runner personally. I like to do off-road running. Um, and so that's kind of how I train. So in the subsequent videos, when I talk about my get home bag for say up to 15 miles, you may be very surprised at what I actually carry and what I don't. Uh, but I will again talk about my experiences. For those of you who do off-road racing and have done it, uh, uh, competitions or whatnot, you'll be familiar with this. So for any of those Tough Mudder or Spartan racers out there, um, that's, that's what I like to do. We're talking anywhere from three to, I've gone up to a half marathon. This is all off-road racing um, through terrible terrain, cold conditions. And what I carried for that 13 miles was very minimal and it worked out fantastically well. So again, as a part one, again, this was just to kind of preface everything with what I already have on me. And then two, to talk about, make sure you're trained and make sure you yourself are physically fit and ready to take care of yourself and whoever's with you. 
So coming up will be part two where I'll actually go and talk about my get home bag. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments or any uh, anything below. Like me if you like this video and subscribe. Thanks. Thanks for watching.